Right, good morning guys and welcome to One Man One Life. Today's a bit different video than I normally make. Uh, my Porsche rear light has cracked. I'm hoping you can see it all right on this. So, today's job is to remove that back light and put a new one on. I've already unpacked the light because I don't want to spend too long waffling on and showing you how to unpack it to um, make the video longer, but um, we're going to go ahead and change it. So I've never ever done this before. Hopefully you'll find me informative. I have seen a number of other videos on roughly how to do it. So I'm going to try and keep this concise and show you exactly how to change it. Right, I've unpacked the back light and I left it in the boot earlier on. So we'll just show you the back light and we'll just highlight some little bits which I think may be interesting. So this is the new light. Um, there is one power connector and then there is this, let me lift it up here. And then there's this bit that I'm taking slides in somewhere. Uh, I believe, according to uh, YouTube, that there is only one screw that goes in there that holds it in place. So, um, it's a bit dark in there, I'll get some light in. We'll remove the old light and see how that's done, and then we'll move on to uh, fitting the new one. I also bought these prying tools off Amazon, costing me about four quid, because as um, what I've seen online, you have to get down the side of the light and just pry it forwards. I'll just get one and show you. The light, you've got to put it in there and push the light that way. But, um, yeah, so the light's got to come across here and out. But until we've uh, actually done it, I can't be for certain. So, yeah, I've got the prying tools. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I've just got a, a light to try and cast a bit of, because it's really dark in here. If I put that underneath, you'll probably see that this panel, oh, it just comes out. Wow. I didn't expect that. So, literally, that's held on with a few clips. Didn't expect that to come out that easy. And then, there should be a grommet somewhere which you disconnect. There's one bolt I've got to disconnect, which is, let me, which is, Let's see if I can... It's just under the... It looks like an eight mil socket right in that hole. And I believe that's the only uh, screw we have to take out. But we'll give it a go and then get back to you. Hopefully you can see this fine. Right, so what we need to get that bolt out is a 10 mil socket. So I've got this in um, this Dewalt screwdriver kit. So we're going to pop that onto that screwdriver like so. And take that screw out. So let's move on to the next step. I'll try and position this in a way where you can see it. But again, the hole is just where my finger is. Um, I'm 
I'm trying to get that light in a position where you can see, but I think that's all going to go peak tongue in a second because there you go, got it on. Wow, this is this is a long knot. I'll, um, I'll crop this bit of the video later because uh, I'm sure you're not interested to, to see me 10 minutes turning this bolt. But there you go, bolt is undone. I'll just put that on there. Let's there, I've just put the bolt, it's probably not the best place on there will it stay but anyway, that is the bolt there we go there we go that is the bolt 10mm socket it's quite, takes some pulling off so I believe that's the only one we need to pull off so let's have a go at taking the light out right, so in this, I put the prime tool inside of this bit of the light and then I forced it forward, which I'll put this one in now. So I put, there you go, pushed it in and it just slides sideways. And then the light just comes out. And that's the light out. So all we got to do is figure out how to disconnect that. So guys, there's a light back in. That slid in, so simple. Right, while I've got it unbolted, I'm just going to uh, try the lights and make sure they work. So uh, let's turn the ignition on and see what happens. So next time you see it, hopefully it'll be on. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go, indicators are on. I can't really see the light because it's a bit dark. So I'm going to take that as a success. Now I'm going to replace this bolt and put the paneling back on. But the old clip on the part from the bolt, obviously. Um, I'm sure you don't need to see that again. So I'll get on with it and I'll see you when it's all better to go. Well, right, guys, that's the light back in bolts put back in place in there somewhere in that in that hole that you can see there I did take this panel off across here which made it a lot easier to uh, get that bolt back in so put that panel back on Put that bit, of, I mean that was super easy to come off, so it's hopefully it'll be super easy to put back on. There's a damaged light, so if anybody has seen that cracking before like that, uh, if you could leave a comment in the uh, comments and let me know how and why it happened, if you know. But um, anyway, let's get the panels back on. I'm not going to show you doing that because... Um, it's just a case of pushing them into place. Prying tools for four quid was a godsend. So let's get the panels on and then we'll show you finished. I don't think you can see that too well at all. But that panel's back on. This panel's back on. Sim super simple to do. And there's a back there's a back light on. So that's job that job is done if you got any questions stick them in the comments and i'll try and get back to you but genuinely that was the first time i have put a real light on on this car um happy is done gives us a thumbs up hit the bell for notification and subscribe for plenty more adventures to come cheers <laughs>